Kingston drinkers face being breathalyzed before they are allowed into some of the town's pubs and clubs as part of a scheme to crack down on alcohol-related violence. Viper Rooms Backers and Kingston University Students' Union will breathalyze customers they suspect are too drunk and stop them from entering, while PRISM, Kingston's biggest nightclub, has also expressed an interest in adopting the tests. We took to the streets of Kingston to ask members of the public what they think. I think it'd be a good idea personally because some people do drink way too much before going into a club and all it does is ruin the night for other people. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a good idea. Some people can hide it, can they? It's a good idea in terms of safety, I think. Um, I think it's a good idea because obviously if you're drunk then there's no more fights. Also, there's, um, when you enter a club sometimes bouncers don't let you in if you're too drunk so if they monitor that within the club then I think that's really positive. Um, because um, if someone is like, they had, a, they had a beer but they're not super drunk, they can still contain themselves. They was, might still not get in because they had like one, one shot of uh, something or one drink. While someone who might drink just a tiny little bit but she's still drunk because she's like tiny or stuff. And she, she still gets into the club. I think that's not good. Okay, uh, I don't think it's a very good idea because people should be free to come and go whatever they want, even if they had a drink or two, well, unless they are falling on the ground, but then you don't really need a breathalyzer for that. The security guards will just see it right through you. Those are the views of the public, but what about the pub owners themselves? Um, I think it's a good idea to breathalyze in pubs and clubs. I'd like to use it here. I think it's a good way to monitor how drunk people are getting. With Mayor of London Boris Johnson publicly stating he doesn't want to be breathalyzed every time he enters a pub, it remains to be seen whether the initiative will be introduced in other London boroughs.